case, like, wait a minute. Damn, hold up. I don't like them niggas that got beards and shit. You feel me? Nonetheless, so y'all... not on. You got a good insight on that. I'm. Thank you for bringing that up. Yeah, yo, 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 go, go to Comment Alibaba. on that too about got, the so-called uh, smooth skin. Well, no, just just the know. argument <laughs> of smooth skin and uh, DNA, right, none of right, which right. can be proven. You feel me? See, the problem is, I think with people who have a mindset of supposed pure blood. You know, again, this is all philosophical shit. All right. Who who understands the origin of blue blood and who professes to be blue bloods? The white Anglo-Saxon Protestants. Now, for them to actually achieve the lie that they're telling themselves, you know how many sexual degenerate incest victims and distorted people that create uh, the on the spectrum, they like to call it now, autism, we used to call retards and mongoloid children, didn't we? back in the day how did that come about inbreeding so please explain to me how you get a, a line of pure blood does, does that make sense nonetheless i mean yeah yeah i mean but you know when you get say blue blood right you know um oxygen poor blood is blue right when it goes through before it goes through hey hey real quick my bad but somebody trying to get a mic check who they was somebody mic fucked up or something oh, oh, next story on king forgive me next story on king oh. what's up gratitude, gratitude forgive me for your intro i'm not used to the group setting and with are out here on the island and i must say complete respect with honor to the platform <laughs> Respect, all respect, all respect bro. Thank you. Respect, I appreciate bro. your respect, please, bro. Please, respect please. back to you, bro. One love. We're kind of familiar with few other guys, but you know, not all. So just forgive the intrusion. Now, I think may I listen to the item. I'm a truly appreciate the item because I always share a B information. But what more really, you know. Discuss our what focus on is where we are go from here. Oh, we are gonna have one, you know, voice. What we are gonna say is it a merry Indian? Where we include all of us in this hemisphere as one people. Cause it's not hard for a man look on themselves, look within their bloodline or their household. You know what I mean? And then look at the spirit. We are animate a man for say, hey, am I free or am I a, you know, presumed subject slave? So all me ask for the item car as a neophyte, you know, me always say we're the student. Why are we focus? How do we move forward from here with the plethora of information that we accumulate? Because I'm there out there long enough. Remember when all A1 I push forward and me used to I say, yo, brethren, oh yeah, butcher the thing so. And I could have said A1 mature to the man that him is when me have to say salute consistently. But when me have says this, with all of the information that we amass and with the truth we're most away, cool. How do we move forward? How do we galvanize our people collectively? as a merry indian or whichever type of indian or aboriginal whatever the term should be but a merry indian seems appropriate because every time we look that's what we say you know all of the foreigners them are clean from south america north america to what they call central they always encounter a merry indian in a whatever nation or tribes or band of truth so again how do, do we move forward Opposed to, you know, we are going to each other, you know, because we but, are going to do that. Mm -hmm. you know? But my yeah, good, yo, my good Jamaican I brother, though. Yo, hold up, what? hold up real quick, real quick, um, Rally Boy Move. I understood everything the brother was saying, and some of y'all niggas needed close caption. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I was only asking about I mean, Taino and Arawak. My good Jamaican brother, how do y'all address Aboriginal origins of Taino and Arawak? when they had seemed to cling to British colonialism, as an example, if I understood what you were getting at. Beautiful, my brother. Beautiful question. Now, as I say, my headline is Awuwak, not Arawak. Why? 
Because back in the days when me I research, me discover so it's always foreign people are laid down the information. And it's just like when we're here on the island, up until the early 30s, 40s, 50s, when we have foreign people come here, so they study the Rastafari movement. And because the Rastafari movement was a group of ones where I said, watch out, we black. And, you know, we have burned everything where foreign to us. At the time, that's what Rasta was. It wasn't about go back to Africa or about sing song or church. It was about, watch out, we black, we cannot, we, we can recognize other people across the earth like us that is being oppressed, and we are move against this oppressive system. However, as time go on, it change, water down. Now, when me do the research, my sister, our walk was one of the first set up, you know, say, Aboriginal people, not necessarily indigenous, Aboriginal people, first people here. Because when I check some of the older maps, they may say, our walk. Arawak chief, Dominion, all of these things is there. Where the Taino is concerned, the, the, just the name to I is a giveaway. Taino is a Spanish word, because the Spanish are the first people that came here in a 1492 on our side. It was a Spanish first. So when the Spanish came, they come and say, us as Arawak, what they call noble people. And with the message in nation, the foreign man, because they come what with the woman. Forgive me. Hey, isn't that what that mean? Y'all came here first? Y'all like, don't didn't the Arawak and the Tainos, aren't there sla aren't, aren't them people slave descendants? Slow it down again. When I know about the slavery, I can't I can't address a slave concept. Cause even on this island. No, what I'm saying when I look at Arawaks and Tianos, yes, sir. them people are not the indigenous. He's saying because Tainos is mixed with Spanish. That's the, the Arawak. Tainos is originally Arawak. I, I, Oh, no, hold on. How you pronounce it? I don't want to say the wrong word. The majority of the people in the Brother. island come from Africa is the question. Brother, mm -hmm. Brother slow it down. Now. They them ask me a question. Give me an opportunity to explain. Okay, let me ask you the question, my brother. When yeah. you say that the Spanish, you're mixed with Spanish blood, didn't Spanish stop. bring the African stop, over here? Slow it down. Slow it down. Let me start again. It's in 1492, according to what is written. That says Spain. Spain, Spanish, Spain invaded this location. They, get, they came to eat. And who did they bring with them? Slow it down, my brother. Brother, slow it brother, down. Brother, who did they bring the with them? Listen, who did yes, the Spanish the, bring the very with them, Moors, brother? My brother, the very Moors of Spain with Columbus. The very my Moors brother, of Spain I ask with you a Columbus. simple question. Who what is it? Hey, let me ask you a question, my brother. Hold on. Let me ask the brother a question. Who, 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 who was, was these was these was these particular Spanish people white people or was they have been brown people as well? Beautiful. This is what I'm saying. It has to be the very same Moors of Spain, including the Columbus. Remember, you know, they had problem over there and Spain are dissolved and them are run away. So when they came here, I was here. This is what I'm trying to say. We as a people, what they would call the Ameri Indian, was here. Irrespective of the Pan-African movement and narrative, where that very movement and back to Africa started on the mainland, we share information on that. It's not about- So y'all can you, so y'all had sex with the Spanish people on the islands and cooperated with them. Slow it down. It's no so different from the very mixed. You said brother, that y'all mixed. Brother. Bro, let me just ask you a question, bro. Go ahead. You slow it down. You slow down. No problem. Go ahead. Ask you a Go ahead. Question. I'm going to slow the question down. I'm going to slow it down. The Spanish people came over here in 1492 mm -hmm. that you said are Moors. Mm -hmm. And your people had sex with them called the Air Walk and the Taino. Most definitely, that, 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 that's how that, that's what they call messaginaion, my good brother. Because foreign. So the rest of the world didn't, or the rest of Jamaica didn't have sex with these people. Only bro. a certain group called the Tiano and a certain group called the Airwalk was the ones that was having sex and mingling with the enemy. Correct. Bro, you see, if the foreign man come here and have intercourse with our woman, then they're gonna have children. And through the passage of time, those children now go call themselves Awak, they go call themselves Tainos. So the Awak was first. And the very Tainos proceed from the message. Was they the first? Was they the first or the first to sell out? 
Well, we're not back and forth on that, you know, because we have sellout everywhere. No, there was other people on that bro. island, like the Hispanic bro. people, like bro. the other people called the Maroons. There was bro. like five, six different great, bro. great bro. people bro. that was our color there. Thank there was you. even people from Florida there. See, I got proof that Florida and bro. Jamaica was doing trade until the fall of Florida. So I'm right just putting proof right. that in the 14 and 1500s that whoever we call them people came from Spain, y'all was the ones having sex with them, bro. Bro, we're not going to dispute that, you know, bro. What we're not going to say is all of us. The Maroons already declared that they came here with Columbus, my brother. The Maroons have them location where a group of people secure a certain area here. All of those documents is there. Yeah, they knew oh, the mountains. Oh, they knew oh, the oh. mountains. They knew the bro, mountain lands. Uh, them is the people that ran to the mountains during the war. Brother, have you ever been to Jamaica, bro? But your people is the ones that had sex and did treaties with bro, the sellouts. So how bro, can we have you ever been to Jamaica, Your bloodline say you that you're the mountain and the flat area. Have you ever seen Kingston for call the flat area? All I'm asking you, you is more where I'm at the mountain or the city. What I'm Sir, trying I to say. I just think that my maroon people that was in the islands uh -huh. ran to the ran to the mountains, and your people called the Tiano and the Arawak was over uh -huh. here sexing the Spanish and the Sicilian Moors and and getting turned out and fucking up America. Bro, that's a your opinion, and I can no, respect No, you just your said opinion. that that was the world bro, 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 man, I'm I'm back back Spanish. Forth. You All said when the this. Sarsarian Moors came here with Columbus, that your people was the one up in arms having sex with these people, trading and doing that bullshit, and the Maroons wasn't even around. I'm bro, just hearing a story from your blood. What you are talking right? about is just your conjecture, bro. All I'm saying is this. Just look at the information. It's there. Look at my small platform with the information that we share. I want the back and forth with you. We're not going to get nowhere that way. Nowhere. When you check my information, you're going to hear me a little fire on the Rastafari movement. I give them the very same information that we were here before everybody else. I do the same thing with the very same Maroon community here. This is I doing this thing. So I'm not going to go back and forth and say, hey, we now have people who sell out. Hey, we now have people who do this or do that. I can share the same information with the mainland where the Spaniards were there on the mainland, the British, the, the all of these things. It's neither here nor there at this point. What I'm saying is this. What is our focus going forward? Opposed to where we go back and forth and try to prove who knows more or who is right or wrong. Just check the spirit. We are animate people. We have maroons here on our island that is in bed with parliament. If you listen to my tape, I'm probably one of the only men on this island that declare publicly that the government of Jamaica nor its parliament have no authority over I, nor I society. I'm the only one doing it here. I don't know if you guys know it's a mustard seeds platform. So I'm not here trying to debate or say, hey, I'm talking none of that, brethren. It's complete respect. What I'm saying is this. Yes, we have learned a lot. We have a lot of information. What's our focus now? How do we move forward collectively with like-minded people? And then I might add, just for a sidebar, when Malcolm X, Martin Luther in the 60s, the 60s <laughs> was doing his stuff, this is what I'm saying. We were you guys, the Indians, to, 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 to hey, do you know that Martin Luther King and Malcolm X? Do you know that Martin Luther King and Malcolm X is so called? Um, told us the wrong story, and that's the light way of saying it. They, hey, I, well, let me they, well, I, hold I, on. I, on a second, though, I just need 30 seconds. I wouldn't even talk for that long. I wouldn't even that. That. talk for that long. I'm just trying to say there's sellouts and there's misinformation in all of our groups, my brother. I would say, in I would, all of our groups, in I would all say, of our groups I would that say, we're trying to get right, my brother. And we can't come together with people that we're not alike with. So you're saying that you're mixed with the Spanish. Listen, I now tell you say I mix with the Spanish. I tell you say the Spanish came here and they stopped at the and they stopped at the people is the Bro, bro, we don't want the immaturity, bro. That's you know, me, no, just watch. Oh, no, that's not immaturity, brother. But yeah, I just don't. We All right, hold up. You're talk, and then he my brother, this my is brother. I'm not getting no problem, my brother. Just, All right, you go ahead and speak. Speak your mind, my brother. With all due respect, speak your mind. 
Go ahead, my good brother. Can I ask you something? That story, real quick. Um, what, what, you from Jamaica, right? You from Jamaica, right, bro? Yes. You Jamaican? Huh? You from Jamaica, right? Bro, I just want to get it correct. Bro, yes, I'm on the island that you guys know as Jamaica. Okay. Oh well, you know, I'm. I apologize if y'all call it something else. But what, what was y'all thoughts on Marcus Garvey over there? That's what I want to. Thank you very much. Again, I'll direct you to my mustard seed platform. I share that information that Marcus Garvey was a Freemason. A Freemason is one of those private organizational group of people who keep themselves away and do their own thing and whatever it is. You all know that. We now go worship Marcus Garvey. Even I just check my platform. It's small enough, but check it. I'm one of the man who burned them national hero. We not do hero worship. I'm one of the man who burn all of them foreign concepts for them bring here. I'm one of the only man who stand up and say, I am free here in this island. I am one of the only man who say, listen, government of Jamaica, I am traveling. I'm going to need to ask permission. They took my car for two years. They returned my car after I got through all of that process. I am here. I'm the only one on the island doing it. When so y'all got... Wait a minute, bro. So, so pretty much, y'all got a big problem with Freemasonry over in Jamaica, then, right? Listen, it's the very same thing that's on the mainland, my brother. You have a very, you have a court system there. You have a justice system there, my good brother. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Uh, okay, then, my brother. So this is what I'm trying to say. I'm not here for say, hey, me, I flex my muscle. I'm not doing that, bro. I'm here to say, watch ya. We on the island, as the neophyte, as the student, the beginners, the learners. You know what I mean? I ask, what's the focus of us going forward with the plethora of information where we sit on as a collective group, opposed to being at each other's throat? That's all I'm saying, bro, with all due respect. Well, shit, to be honest, we, we've been trying to build as a collective group. As a matter of fact, this is why we have taken a step back and only to focus in where we are now located, what we call North America, because the same continuous extended hand that we have extended to everyone not islands but to melanated negroes all over the planet and the love we have shown have not been reciprocated so we have only focusing on our particular selves and dealing with that particular information and we are not declining or not saying we're willing to deal with people that's not from the area where we're particularly talking about but one thing we will have to ask is what is something tangible that you guys bring to the table that's beneficiary to our people because we can name a list of things that everyone uses that we bring to the table are we on code spiritually with each other because i because i hate when people talk about i don't like island people man i grew up with island people i i can go in island people's mother's houses but but we on code with each other and there's a lot of people in our communities that's not on code with us though and that's just and it seemed like yeah, you just act like that code. online, bro. One second, though, none. Just like I'm off code with a lot of black people. That don't make them bad or me good. Just what were we on code with, my brother? But I digress. Yeah, I'm no longer talking about code because it should be a it should be a, a unspoken rule of what code is. What I'm talking about, literally, things that's benefit that we could benefit off of, or even working and and allowing people into our circles. If there's nothing that can be listed that my people can benefit off of, I don't really have to entertain the idea of working with anyone. Well, well it'll be a one way street. With complete respect, I can hear what you are saying. And only because we just passed through, but unlike we have any interest for us, boy, we want to personally come get together and get involved in our business. Remember, you all there on the mainland, and it's a different bureaucracy there. And I personally not comprehend most of it. Most of the time, I will catch this platform where AB with the or if I say Aboriginal one of a thing as a long time man. So, yeah, me pass through. But the bureaucracy and the different, different issues I'm not familiar with on the mainland. But so, see, my brother, uh, uh, here's wait, the thing. Can I ask on this? Can I ask on this real quick, Dolly Bamu? Hey, on, bro, are you here? He was addressing something that I see. I want him to be able to fool. No, I want to ask him, is he here? I want, I want to ask him, is he here in America or is he in Jamaica right now? Where he living? 
I'm on the island. Huh? Yeah, I'm on the island, Jamaica, where you call Jamaica. Oh, right now? Okay, all right. That's all I want to know. Okay. Respect, respect. And blessings what? to you, brother. And uh, and like like I said, I want to reiterate, uh, I have love for all my brothers and sisters, my indigenous aborigines to the Eastern Hemisphere, the Western Hemisphere, and of the Americas. So, you know, I just want to make that factor established as well. Uh, but it is certain thing that we will stand on uh, within the Aboriginal communities of what we call America. But AP, in regards to his last statement about government, see, it's obvious that British colonialism is undiluted, uncut, specific, not just to Jamaica, but many of the island chain. Here on the mainland, as you referenced, good brother, there's a different connotation of what is government, and that's what keeps causing confusion. People think it's of British origin, and that's partly what we have arguments over the United States Constitution, and not understand we had controlling government structure before the invasion. Now, I don't know how much you have contact with what your aboriginal Facts. government origin was on the island. I'd like to ask you that first, and then I want to circle back to the Bimini Bro thing, AP, and the supposed shelf that we share with Atlantis. But how about that, brother? How much did y'all have knowledge of your aboriginal government structure before bowing down to British colonialism? Because you saw how people acted when the queen, that bitch, died. Oh, and listen. how they're still bowing to King Charles currently. Listen, again, my birth event, life event, is 1971, my good brother. So you say it's just the information where we accumulate, we can basically work with. Now, when we are talk about, just as you say, we are governed by the British, and you're saying the mainland is a little bit different. Yeah, I can't comprehend, can I look at all information where the constitution derived from it, I call the great law of peace, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy. We're familiar with that. The question what I would ask is this. As we are now, and in the mainland where you say is a little bit different, the financial system that governs everywhere, is its origin on that mainland there? It is the American dollar. And you know American capitalism runs the world economy, if that's what you're asking. That's what I'm trying to say now is this. Is there a Congress on your mainland? Yes, we know that. But who are those people that represent the Congress as we speak? Primarily, you're talking about immigrants and 80 plus percent or more attorneys, which are definition okay. liars. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I would say probably now it's about 80 percent of Congress is actually attorney. And we know the attorney represent and go back to where? The in's court, my good brother, right back into that British system, my good brother. Yeah, you're talking about the British accredited registry because they service under the bar as officers of the court. I so, got you on oh, that. I'm not disagreeing I'm with the operational behavior. What I'm asking you is, do you, as oh, your culture, shit. do you still have whatever your original governing structure was before British colonialism? That's what my question was. For example, we have people here that argue that there are common law courts, but no one can seem to identify where those courts are, for example. Mm -hmm. Well, again, this is why I mentioned my life event, what I'm called a birth date, only because I was born only in 1971. So I really can't talk definitive what was. What I can say, what I have done is that the moment I discover whatever it say is going on or presumed to going on, I just write on paper saying, listen, whatever laws are in place, including that common law, it can only apply to I as man, free man, only if I consent. Free mind, so, like, so, hey, let me so, ask one more so, so let, let me finish with this line of reasoning. One thing, my fault, bro. My fault. so, my good brother, the reason yeah. why I'm asking about the governing structure, you are aware of the American Declaration of Rights of Indigenous People, most definitely. 
Okay, so then for you to overturn true, truly overturn British colonialism, you have to declare, and I'm not just saying you, the person, uh -oh. I'm saying the population has to declare their actual origin and who they are as a people right. and grab your governmental structure to eject this co colonial oppression under the auspices of the or now i don't know is jamaica a member of the organization of american states most definitely and i must say thank you thank you very much now on youtube i don't think i make it private usually i make it private i think it's open there's a document on youtube called superior court records if they are them check it out it's just the very question on your declaration that you, 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 you ask or mention that very document represents just what you're saying it's like a what we would call a dossier and this is a document that i get a certified copy of and then i make a copy of that certified copy and have a jp attached to the document with my seal as contract and i place it within a court settings and everything disappear including the court prosecutor so listen again i'm the neophyte i'm no not no, nothing special Mohammed, that's but, 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 hold, but hold on brother you did say you filed a claim and i want to hear what i heard you say correctly it has right. been suppressed purposely and the criminals are trying to prevent your declaration of independence is what i'm hearing you say. oh no not at all i'm trying to say i have made that de declaration of independence and it has passed a year and a day which for us as free people amount to public law so this is why i'm saying check the tapes and then it even check the island records office here oh That's so you saying, saying that a lot of people you saying a lot of people in the islands especially jamaica has filed a lot of different type of paperwork and it's been called no. what's going on right now no brother brother i can't talk for a lot of people i can't tell you what i have done that way if i said go check the item can check and if the item said why king I don't believe No, it. I'm saying in the islands, y'all do paperwork too. That's all I'm asking. Oh, I'm yes. No, no. Listen, it's the same system, bro. It's a very same system. When you hear about the probate court, it's actually that county clerk era, that county recorder. That's actually the probate court. That's where they house your birth certificate. I must ask a question for you guys on the mainland. That's Indian. As you know, do Bring you me big bro. Real quick before you get off, do y'all pay taxes in, in Jamaica? Everybody pay taxes. I'm just the only one bucking the system, really. You pay taxes to who? To the very government of Jamaica. Again, listen to me. I am not here to tell people that. I said I am the only one bucking the system. Listen to me carefully. You understand? So if I'm saying that, may I tell you something else? But everybody pay taxes here on the island. I'm the only one bucking the system. Like I'm the only one who travel on the road with my private automobile. It's a little pro box. It value probably about twenty thousand dollars if I throw water on it. You understand? So probably that's why they don't let us ignore me. But that's the very that's all I have, and that's how I travel. I, I'm unregistered, I'm uninsured, and all of that. And I'm not here to brag. I'm just here to say, listen. Some of us who know who we are declare ourselves that way but they won't make it public they won't put us on anything nationally because they can't and specifically a man like me i've eight people right where you guys are where i have them thing confiscated but traveling like me and the very system that where you are return their documents and you know what i mean just do the right thing and i've done it on on, on the british version i've done it a lot hey. of Go ahead. Big bro, do y'all have um, a president or a prime minister? Is he is he Jamaican descent or is he a white dude? We have a Jamaican prime minister, but we have a governor general, and all of them look like I, but they're not necessarily of our ancestral lineage. That's what I Yeah, that one that just got killed, he looked like y'all. Hey, hey, do you, I just say, right. do you believe that the majority of um, the sleep-ass black people and the sleep-ass African-Americans, I'm putting them two designations to it, so if you don't fit in it, it's not belonging to you. Do you think that Aboriginal to America or Indigenous to America, do you think that's a better name for us? Do you think that on the 
spiritual level. All right. Just a on harmony the, level that'll help us out. On the spiritual level, why I would prefer Aboriginal is because the foreigners spoke Latin. The very moves of Spain spoke Latin. When they came here, they said, Aboriginal, from origin, from origin, Aboriginal. We are the original people, the Awa, the noble people that they saw. Again, this is just from our, you know, point of view. When I want to go on like, you understand? Me I bully this thing. But when you say Aboriginal, it's just synonymous with, you know, original. Now, when you say indigenous, I know for a fact that was a attorney created term. It's a legal term. You understand? And if you, you just say syntax, the word, the moment you add in to indigenous, it's like in this creek, non discreet, not discreet, in perfect, not in perfect, indigenous, not indigenous, or not indigenous. So this is a semantic where them use word wizardry. So I'm going to like the term indigenous because I know the attorney them create that. And this is why when I deal with court system, I'm not going to get issues. I kid you not, my people. I'm not, I'm not really going to feel no way to say it. The moment I put my influence in any court, just when them see the document or them see my, my nation flag on the document, everything change, everything cease, everything stop. Them cannot move my people. This is why them did authorize my people them were in the court system for lock him up and don't let him out. And my very judge, judiciary, them tell me, them say, are we a savior? We think of the people them. A foreign people, want, the, the people them tell me these things in a private court setting, Gretchen. And I now say these things to make my system or my area look bad. Me have some beautiful judiciary and some honorable people here. That's why under no circumstance me I share information to sue police and no. Yeah, we have good and bad. But I won't be that instrument. I can forgive a man when he violate me. My might now go can forgive him when he violate my loved one. I rather them violate me. Cause I can say, oh, where you are, say, man? I can't hold that man. But you violate my brother a week and thing my head chip. But that is just me. No, so, speaking yeah. of word, word, speaking of word registry, attorney, Please. lawyer. Public yes. defender and and Esquire are four different things. They're not the same. I agree. I agree. They're not the same, bro. You know I what I'm agree. saying? Listen, the do you original... think that we could be power of attorney? Do you think that we could have the power of Oh yes. I, yeah, have... everybody. Yeah, bro. I'm an attorney, in fact. And Bali Bob, I know where I know what common law courts are too, bro. If you want, you know. But no, I ain't gonna go into it. Small no. small claims court is common no. law. That's why you don't see lawyers in those on those TV shows. That's common law. <laughs> Listen, bro. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We just give thanks for the energy, brethren. And as the neophyte, as the student, as the island folk here, we have to salute, gratitude, and complete respect with power to all of y'all. And once they are them, I do them thing, and gain success is success for us. So how I, as man, stand up here. It's never been done. Not even Marcus Garvey has done what I've done. This is what me have said. Yet, the mainland is totally oblivious to the things them that I have done here. A whole heap of changes make here just by I speak, my people. Just by I speak. Yet, I've never get any kind of nothing. Not even the mainstream vloggers here can even mention I. None of them can. It's just the rude boy, the bad boy want them, the righteous want them. Where Babylon can't control is only those people who say, I walk in their nation. All the rest, when monetize, they keep silent. Yes. So you're saying that a lot of people in the islands, I'm just adding now, now hear what I'm saying though. You're saying that a lot of people in the islands are doing paperwork and that might be changing the forecast and that's why this shit is happening to the islands? Yeah, man. You have a lot of people who profess to be Moors. Moors and the Moors and the Maroons are synonymous. They are usually Islamic, but the common folk we are getting involved do not know the intricacy and the foundation of the Moorish and the Pan African movement and their agenda. So, this is why I'm the advocacy here, the only voice here. You understand? And when we, when we have a, a Lickian and a Lickshot, we have to comprehend where we are. 
Well, now, for comprehensive, we're in a location, not like you, you guys. Just take a look at how our government and political system structure. And then ask yourself, oh, the mess. This man that they are speaking and going like that. Oh. Hey, big bro. Yes, according sir. to, I'm going to ask you something that's according to the, the subject matter of AP, right? Do, do y'all do y'all ever call anybody Indians or Moors in um, Jamaica that you know about? I don't understand the question. If we call anybody Indians or Moors, but I thought they were referred to as maroons, Listen, not more. Yeah, there you what did go. You, bro, like that. bro, we have like Hebrew is bro. We have Hebrew Israelites here. We have all. We have every single denomination of groups and kind of people here. Y'all got Christian. My fault. Go ahead. Y'all got no. No, y'all got everything there, just like here. Like people that call themselves different things, right? What? No, but what? But what is the difference on how the maroon culture is taught on the island? That's what the mountain refuge, those are the rebels against colonialism, or what is their spin on how they lie to you on what is maroon history? Yeah, 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 there you go, there you go. Again, again, what you have for comprehend is this. When me think about country, I'm here on the island, I'm there in Portmore, St. Catherine, but I'm there in the city area, because you have St. Catherine, the hilly part, where you would have called the mountains. Now, when we the Yasa like Kingston, and we think about country, what you guys call the mountains, there is no difference or separation with who is a maroon or who is not. You understand? From you, they open the bush. It's like if me go up to the bush now and you see me. You would have called me a maroon when I'm not a maroon. I'm on a walk, but me just not the bush. Hold but up, so there's no you say you saying there's no racism in Jamaica? No racism. No, we don't necessarily have racism like you don't call it prejudices or classism. Yeah, okay, do y'all yeah, we describe we have, it then. We have a you, you have a group where look just Ooh, like that me. was deep. Yeah, man, you have a group where look like me, and you have an next set with high color. But you have the group where look like me, where them have that mixture of bloodline, they have the colonizers. You understand? The children are the colonizers. So them have the class. But the, but that's colorism, brother, and that's still some form of white domination. Bro, I can't bro, say that. Let me say 30 seconds, bro. 30 seconds. Y'all gotta bro, get that. Bro, we don't get taught classism. You call it we're racism, but seconds, most seconds. of them look like us. We just call it classism and prejudice. You know what I mean? Yes, we call it boo. We don't we're necessarily have to the whites, like oh, you don't see it on the mainland. That's all it is, bro. So yeah, it's we not, call it boo lay in America. We call it boo lay and bougie. So we, we have doors here too. Listen, check yeah, out. Thirty time. seconds, bro. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't think we talk enough. I don't think we talk enough about classism in America, and I think classism out trumps racism in America. We just don't know how to talk about it. I agree. Gratitude, gratitude. Complete yeah, that's gratitude. a fact. That's a fact. Complete gratitude for the time, man. Complete gratitude for the effort and the energy. And my, you know, complete respect to the platform and to the guests and to the chat. Gratitude again. Now, you know, we'll try link Peace up to you. and share these things. That's it for my people. Gratitude, man. But when you're talking class structure, brother, since unfortunately we have an agricultural and agrarian stratified system that then built up to industrial revolution, for example, the turn of 1900, what type of farming would you say, or would it be considered serfdom like in Europe, or there's just rural versus urban centers? Where would you say the source of the type of class structure you're trying to describe no, to us? It's definitely serfdom because there's a foreign crown print make a claim and say, boy, them own this place where that was seeded into them by a foreign Spain. And Spain could not seed anything with them to own. So all of these things are called paper genocide. You understand? What them write out, I as a people. Because I remember when the Maroons came here and they ran away when Spain left, they came up into the hills. Who they came to? It was us, the Awak people. This is who they came and said. And when them talk about Rasta, that was just yesterday. And then you have to comprehend there's different groups of Maroons. You have Maroons that side with the British where hunt my people. You understand? And you have Taki where they would assimilate into Maroon culture what, when it was the very same Maroons who murdered Taki. So you see, our blood they are, you know, and it a cry out, you know. And the, 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 the ancestral spirit will animate me, make I have to speak a certain way. This is why I'm a burn 
the ones them where Uno has said, I am a part of. I am he, brethren. Just check the tape. Small hey, yo, hey, 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 um, hey, brethren, real quick. Let me ask you a question, right? In um, Jamaica, right? Is Christianity um, prevalent? Yes. Remember, I know it's a Christian conquest. The doctrine of discovery okay. was the yes. doctrine of Christian conquest yes. from the very Romans. Exactly. So look, so the British that came in there, they would have been agents of Rome. They would have been the Christians, right? Listen, the British that came here in 1655, when they came here, they, they banned the Roman church and banned the Roman Catholic from this island. So they were adversaries at the time. Remember these foreigners were always warring with each other, you know? This oh, 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 hold up, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up real quick, hold up, hold up. So you said the British that came here burnt the the um the ban, church. Ban, ban okay. The, 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 so the, now look, so ban, them, but it. them, them may have been your allies, because remember the the Christians the, the Christians are trying to conquer everything, and the only people who resisted um Christian um or Catholicism was the so-called Moors, right? As we know it, right? They was the ones that was they was the ones that was resisting Catholicism along with along with us here in the Americas. We was but the didn't ones they but didn't a one they called them the Saracens inside the papal bull of Dom Diversus? They called them Saracens, infidels, and heathens. Yeah, they said all people. They said, look, go conquer all go conquer all lands and um find the Saracens and put them under perpetual servitude. And he's in infidels and all that. That's a, all of them are just terms for people who under un, I mean that they classified as heathens because they're not baptized. You know what I'm saying? They consider anyone a heathen who wasn't baptized. But well, oh, when yeah. I'm saying when I'm saying to you know I'm saying the brethren over here, because this is what I'm saying here. Mm -hmm. Everybody, the only the only enemies that came here, like they keep saying the Spanish, they keep saying the um British and all of them. A lot of them was people returning back over here to this to this empire. Now it was now a lot of them was also they, they just gave up. They just gave up converted. They became baptized. They became European. Well, the ones that gave up stayed over there. They ain't had no reason to flee. But now you're talking about reversing back from when they were taken to Europe and then brought back to the islands. Bro. Or taken to the islands en route to Europe. So there were mainland aboriginals. I'm, I'm hoping I'm hearing what you're saying, Ava. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, hold up. Well, let me put it in perspective because I don't, I don't like, I don't. Well, like I don't say. Well, all right. So look, put it like this, right? So one thing, you know, even with, with um, what the brother said last night, right? He he was giving reference to saying that America was the first land. Now I've been saying this shit for years, but people who don't seem to understand it, people don't seem to, to think that the that. Americas. The remember we wasn't riding on no canoes neither or no motherfucking um this primitive shit that they we had ships. They don't think that we was navigators and we were seafaring people or Indians or Indian because this is not the story that's conventionally told. Bro, America, we there was no other land on the planet. America we was the only we were established. We were a developed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's that's the that's the um point of view that we teach here. But what I'm saying is this, right? Them other lands outside of some of the hybrid people that's there. And when I say hybrid, I would say Europeans. I would say um, on, we'll them on. We'll them on. Yeah, Asians on. and Indians. I'm not. I'm, when I say East India, we gotta put them. We gotta put them uh, in the control. That tough message in the nation. Yes, and the East Indian are actually the Barat. These are the Barat people, and change their name to Indian by the British in order to be served around here. But yeah. as we go along, these information will come forward, yes. So, all right, so what I'm saying to you is this, right? At <laughs> one point in time, the only empire that was was the empire of Amaru, which is here in America. That was the only empire. There was no <laughs> other people Bro, on I, no I, other I, continent. And I'm just saying, I'm not saying it just to you. I'm just saying it just, just for you know, just to but, uh, put the point of view. But hey, well, hold up, but hold hey, up, well, I'm not done yet. Hold up, hold up. I'm not done. Hold up. Let me, let me, let me, let me get, let me get the whole point out. Just so yeah, I'm gonna say it again. I've been saying, I said this shit a thousand times, but it seems like people don't understand. At one point of time, 
America was the only fucking continent. Okay. And the islands were the in. All, and the, we say America, <laughs> the islands are part of America, yeah. brother. Yes. The yes. Caribbean oh, no. is the Americas, my oh, dude. Clarity. Yes. Got okay, so, clarity. so, no, 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 the Caribbeans, and when, when I'm talking, the Caribbeans exactly. are the Americas, okay? Right. Now, right. some people may beg a different, but that's, we just agree to disagree on that. What I'm saying is we had multiple empires. We had empires here where we was all connected because we was trading up and down I the rivers all the way through Central, all the way to the Caribbean, and back and forth to Europe. So when you say people from over there, people from over there was part of this empire. But see, you know what it is? People don't understand it because even like what you just said, the Pan-Africans, right? Mm -hmm. And even what you just said, the Moors. A lot of Moors teach. I'm a Moor. But a lot of other Moors that's part of the MST of America, they teach international history. They don't teach history. Only There's only a few selective that actually focuses on the Americas. All of the other ones, they're confused with a lot of information that they put out there, which make a lot of my people confused, and so forth and so forth. But what I'm telling you is, America yeah. was the first land out of the water. There was no other continents thriving. We were seafarers. We had the signs from zero and nine. We I dealt with astronomy. Agree. We dealt with cosmology. We dealt with geometry. We dealt with civics. Okay, we see all of this in American Indian Encyclopedia to cross-reference what we already know. Now, A1, did he not outline an intercoastal waterway that went past the tip of North Carolina down the peninsula? Did he not share that last yeah. night? Yeah. And did it not get invaded by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers? <clears throat> so originally, it was a freshwater channel. Okay going at least from the Carolinas down to the tip of Florida. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Along with the highway that goes on Bimini Road. See, look, there's a road that go all the way from California all the way to um, fucking Florida, but that but the, the other part of the road was Bimini Road. Bro. The, the part that's underwater. Go ahead, brother. I, I remember coming across documents that showing us governor of North Carolina as the same governor of the island of Jamaica. And this was in, I think it's the 1600s. Yeah, that. because, brother, that was under the charter from Charles and from King James. Uh -huh. See, King James gave you Jamestown in Virginia, the Virginia colony. Then all other charters come out of the Virginia company. Is so the Carolinas thing? then got broken north and south. And that's why you have Charleston and Charlotte. Now, referencing... I want somebody to explain this to me, right? All right, explain this to me since we're on the to um, topic of charters, right? So, boom, we already established America had one of the greatest empires that ever existed, that ever existed. We're not talking about, even now, it's like that, but we're talking about in, in our days, right? So, the people that was just pulling up on these shores, who was they getting the charters from? I like how you said that. Let me explain that because it goes with the. Hold on, I want to. Hold on, let, 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 let you go. Let Ali Bamu give me an explanation for that, and then if you want to elaborate on that, and then um, but I can elaborate. A, I can elaborate too. Go ahead. A one, you know, I have simply stated that the United States Constitution is a document prepared by our Aboriginal ancestors, okay. right? You've heard me say that repeatedly. No, no, I just right? want some clarity. Though, you, you know, but I, I feel you. I feel you, brother. So again, right. if it's going to be that document. For the supposed renegade loyalists, because see, people seem to not understand, these were still British subjects, right? The so-called founding father bastards? Yes. The so then who did they conduct business with to be standing on our autochthonous sovereign authority? It had to be us. But then even when you, the, the, the funny thing is this, right? For my, a lot of my research, right? They say that the British never tried to enslave nobody. And then we know, when, when I'm saying British, I'm talking about Moors that came back from Brit Britain, that came back to the empire. That's what I'm saying. I'm not I saying like how you said that. no foreigners. I'm not saying some of, like, like, like I said, by the time Christianity spread through um the Iberia, Iberia or Iberia Peninsula, a.k.a. Europe, right? By the time it spreads um through um that land, right? 
they start sending secret societies over here, agents of people who posing to be what we consider. When I say I'm not saying Muslim, I'm saying Muslim, right? Those who submit to the all, right? Now, what I'm saying is not all of these people, they get throwing it out there. Oh, the British did this. The Spanish did this. It wasn't no Spain over there. So the people that they're saying is Spanish are the Moors that got kicked out of Spain, that came back here. They're not Spanish people. And they was not warring. The Spanish that was warring with us was the ones that converted to Christianity. And and let's, uh, A1, let's not forget that the Moors that like to talk about being the navigators, there is the Spanish Moors, and then there's the Spanish Sephardic Jews. See, they were both complicit. Probably even, both even when we melanated. Get Judaism, even when we, they, they were, right? Even when we get to, I don't, even when the story they tell us, oh, the Jews and the Moors, um, they lived on, um, they, they lived between Portugal, um, Spain and Morocco, right? I believe, uh, my personal research, right, that the Judaism, the, remember, it was no J, so we can't even say Judaism, right? Mm-hmm. But we know all of them sciences come from the Sumerians. All of that shit come from the Samaria. So I would be hard pressed to believe that even when we get to the Sephardic Jews, right? And and a lot of these stories about Huguenots and all that, I would be hard pressed to say that these are both the same sun worshiping um rel- not religions, but practices. Practices of sun worshiping. We worship the sun, but niggas think that's some bullshit, right? That's the same reason why as soon as it get fucking hot, you see motherfuckers you ain't seen uh, in the whole year outside, right? So when I when I talk about sun worshiping, that's in you automatically to worship the sun. You ain't got to go outside and bow. And, oh, you ain't got to do all of that. But if you do, your natural practices will be earthing, right? Your natural practices will be earthing. We also meditated, um at certain times like noon and all that type of shit but that's that's some other that's another um uh, um that's some other shit right but, yeah good brother with all due respect for honorable clarification Tom. more time you know I'm going on with it's a one man you know what this a one brother salud salute everyone peace 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 all right me hear you say you're a more yeah um, break that down to me, because me is a man with lick shot on some more, but me know me have some good brethren where I'm more. This is my understanding of, of more, right? Outside yeah. of what regular Moors speak, right? This is my understanding of Moors, yes, right? Uh, and a lot of people disagree with me. More, 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 first of all, is a, um descriptive terminology, right? But now I'm starting to think that it goes back to the ancient people, the moral people, the amoral, moral people. Right, mm-hmm. meaning that it started here in America. They are not from over there. It's, it started right here. But, but right, see, right. through the bass, through through the information that's out here now, through the MSTA of America and all this other stuff, there's a lot of this uh, confusion yeah, out. I there. agree. But put so, it right here, brother. Put it right. Yeah. Don't move it. Let me not stick you up right here. Go ahead. I'm a rule moors. All right. I am of the view, you know, with my ancient <laughs> That my people is one of the people who really fight against the Christian. I will fight against the Muslims. So you have to go wonder uh, what kind of spirit that animate me. Are you guys familiar with the information of a, a, a man called Presta John, the patriarch of the Indians? Yeah, yeah, I, I have. Yeah, I hear about the Presta John. And them said the three Indies, which was here and South Africa and India. You guys familiar with that information? That when he manifests himself from yeah. this and reach over there where. The Pope is that was all astonished at how him get there so fast. And give me, give me, give me other little, give me synonyms for Preston John. Quetzalcoatl, right? Quetzalcoatl, right? Quetzalcoatl. Well, so, well, Nestorian King more so. I don't, I wouldn't even, well, I haven't come across that side of information. Yeah, are, Qu- um, Preston John is Quetzalcoatl or Nigazada or, um, what we call um um Kukulkan, or what his name was in Peru, which was the Amaru right. Moru, the serpentine all right. father. All right, all right. Now this man wasn't affiliated with Islam, bro. Nor nor Christianity. But he moved with a seal where, where identify as the four as a cross representing the four corners or the four winds. 
but he wasn't really a Christian. So him that aroused the the you know said the curiosity of the Romans at that time. But again, we'd have to share the information, then we can have a discussion on it. We just hey, hey when I say look, look, understand this, right? Understand yeah. this, right? When they tell you that the Moors over there worship Christianity, look, after Catholicism took over, right? They created organized um religion. They created um, um Islamism. They created Judaism. They created Catholicism. They created Christianity. Prior to that, the people over the so the people who claiming that the Moors are over there who practice that, them are all Moriscos who converted. Them ain't that ain't the old time religion or, or the old time culture that we was practicing. That's some bastard that that ain't got nothing to do with any of the shit that we was practicing. But see, people get it confused because they don't know the history. They don't know that Rome controls all, all, um, how do I want to say, all organized religions. After they, after they, um, went through, after they went through Europe or the Iberia Peninsula or Iberia into what we call Barbary, right? Before it was North Africa, right? They're converting all these people as they go along. And as they go along, what they're doing is they're creating these secret societies and they're adapting these these um so-called religions that they're creating. They're creating them. Because even when you get to the Abraham, when they tell you the Abrahamic belief system, right? It's all of them three religions, right? But then you got what? You got Aramaic, right? Then you got um Arabic, then you got Hebrew, right? All of these are supposed to be Abrahamic um um, um yeah, languages yeah. La languages right so but even whether they're affiliated or not with the abrahamic belief systems all of the religions fall under the vatican authority that's a fact and the triumvirate of the criminal empire is the city of london holding the financial structure and washington dc holding the sword and the military, military domain. Yeah, that's a fact. And so when we understand in, in that, Vatican, I think, in Vatican City, bro, don't forget about that. Their spirituality, yeah. We just said that. The Vatican is holding up spirituality and religion. The yeah, city of London is holding the dollar, which is still the American dollar because that's the scam that's going now. But it uses the American military might that's yeah. been extracted off of us through taxation. And that, hey, Albert, and, that, and that is the United States right there. Oh, that's the United that's States. That's the United States. That's the 10 by 10 square miles of Washington, yep. D.C. That Vatican they took. And London. That, yep. But they remember when they listen. And the don't forget thing, about Wall Street, too. Wall Street is yeah. part of that, too. The, but the whole thing is, even with the 10 by 10 square miles of Washington, D.C., this was stuff that we invented for our own people. They get so happy to, after all of this shit took place, take this oh, shit yeah, over. They usurp, they usurp all of these things. Yeah. And it's then they even people. admit that a person of color built that place. They even Benjamin Banneker. And they even yeah. give him, look, they even give Benjamin Banneker for the 10 by 10 square miles. If you watch any watch ad, because remember, they saying Benjamin Banneker invented the clock. So that clock, that clock in um in London, Big Ben, is named after him, right? But even if you go, you watch, you look in the GQ magazines for anybody who be looking at that type of shit or any magazines, all watch ads or all watch, uh, yeah, all watch um um articles or advertisement is always gonna have 10, 10 on it by the ten by ten square miles of Washington D.C. after Benjamin Banneker. You see, what I'm saying. Well, Benjamin Banneker was part. He he was he was part of our government. They just hijack all these stories. They got but you know, you could say the same thing of him as no, you could say of man. Crispus Attucks, as you could say of anyone who's been elevated. Like we coming upon no. nigga history month. This day one, day but two. My brother, I got, I got a bill okay. for my brother. Y'all here for tomorrow dedicated to this black history shit, man. It's going to be one of the ones, man. But listen, I want to say shout out to the chat, man. We got 192 people over on Bout News. Shout out to everybody, man. We kicking up some smoke, man. I want to say shout out to the chat. Peace and blessings. Love to everybody that is in the chat. I'm calling out the king of the mestizos. So whoever the king of the mestizos is, please. Yo, who that is? Oh shit! Hey, Big Bap, since you just stuck, since you just stuck your head up like the tortoise out of Turtle Island, 
What is you going to say about the Bermuda Triangle and the Crystal Pyramid I tried to throw out earlier there? What's, what's I, I ain't heard about that. I heard about the crystal skulls. I ain't heard, I heard about the about crystal the, pyramid. I heard about the crystal pyramid. That's what they saying that bring all the planes down because of the frequency. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's the crystal pyramid, and and it's some type of um, frequency that basically creates. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I can't explain exactly what it creates. But well, they put the mythology about the Bermuda Triangle, but what I'm trying to ask is, how does Bermuda, Barbados, Bahamas, and Jamaica? So Jamaica technically is underneath, you know, the peninsula in the Florida. But all of that area, isn't that what he allowed some sort of alluding to last night of Atlantis and the shelf, the oceanic shelf that is shared by the Florida peninsula until you get into the Gulf of Mexico? Can I please rebut that? Because it goes exactly. I mean, no. Can I please agree with that and just give my? Nah, we about to roll, roll out, nigga. We about to roll out, yo. Hey, 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 Root, Root, real quick, yo. You you got to do a build on them jet skis going from Miami to the island. That shit dope, yo. I watched that shit, yo. That shit dope. <laughs> but I just yeah, yeah. Seconds when my brother was saying how. If you All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. When, when, when you look at um, 1789, when the 13 colonies drew their fictitious lines on the map. The fictitious lines wasn't there, and my brother was wondering how the king of North Carolina was the same as the king of the islands. All you got to do is go to the capitals of USA on Wikipedia. It will show you that St. Augustine controlled every last southern state and occupied the capital of Cuba, occupied the capital of Jamaica, occupied and occupied three other islands we was all one motherfucking people until they right. came over yeah. with their imaginary but now root you know root hold on hold on hold on since you mentioned that in their criminal his his story do they not say i think it's 1523 that saint augustine is authorized as the oldest city of the united snakes of that's america right. that's a fact from the but when they say that though that's just i'm not that's saying all, yeah wrong. that's all bullshit but they they give credit mm -hmm. to saint augustine though yeah, right yeah, but it's, it's, but, it was a great yo but of an empire though because no, the no, city of augusta when you check on panama city on the course check on panama city on the course with that saint augustine story that's what I'm saying. And but see, I'm most right. people don't I'm see the connections, though. What do you mean when it's connected? St. Augustine uh, uh, is, is right there in Florida. When you talk about Panama City, now we have got 10 west and, and probably another about eight hours. That's what it's not like. That's right when next. Atlantis failed. I'm trying to say, now I'm not saying I'm right. All right, I'm all right, all right, bro. Mean, that's when Atlantis failed is from. St. Augustine on down got disconnected uh, from the world through all these people and it failed through its economy. It even shows that, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it failed, but it got the same great qualities through the pyramids, through all these great structures, through the star forts. It, it, it failed in the 1800s. But people don't yeah, really want to see but, how but it's yo, connected. In 30 seconds, 30 seconds, seconds, no, all go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. The capitals of America. <laughs> The capitals of America, and it's going to show you that Marietta, Ohio, was the capital of every last northern state. St. Louis, which is Caesar Louis, Caesar Louis, King Louis, occupied yeah. 20 states of the Western Hemisphere, but they yeah, wasn't state yet. Ohio, they erased so that line her, and just yeah. put the cities right there. The city states, and I got to agree with Sister So, that's all I was trying to say. Just It's true what everybody is saying. I'm just trying to give evidence where we could look at it on paper, just Wikipedia states um, um, capitals of America, and it'll show you where we ran shit all the way up until the middle of the 1800s. But I digress. Yo, but remember this: the, the the Holy Roman Empire is different from the Roman Catholic Church. So the empires was ran by the capitals, and the church was run by the city. That's that 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 was the takeover right there when, when they they took over and inserted this Christianity. Bro, I love how you said that. And if you erase all these lines and go with just Wikipedia's capitals of America, you'll see that we've been having these city states over here. Right. City that's states, where the Holy See. Yeah, but they co it was a, is a copy. The city was a copy of the capital from the Holy the City. That's why they, it's called city from the Holy See. 
That, it became yeah. corporate. You see what I'm saying? That's how you get civil. That's how you get right. civilian. Yeah, there you uh, go. Citation. Yep. Mm -hmm. All that yep. stuff comes from all that, and it's dealing with your cities that predate these imaginary lines as states, and it connect the islands. I can connect the capitals oh. of the islands in the 1800s with Florida. Oh, I don't have to it's beautiful history. That's all I was saying. I'll be Hello, but, but here, but here, here's the reason that I'm bringing up the Crystal Pyramid, the Bermuda Triangle, and the potential of electromagnetism. There is a thing that is going in the consciousness of people, even out of their ignorance, including these criminals and the foreign invaders. Some use the refer to the ascension. Now, Mama Earth or Terra Firma or Turtle Island, which is you want to agree with, these crystal pyramids, and that's not the only one, there are a number of others that are submerged underwater. These crystal pyramids are resonators. Now, whether the mysterious activity of the Bermuda Triangle is because we don't clearly understand the electromagnetic forces. And some would say some of the Tesla criminality, if you're familiar with 369 and the resonance, the importance of those numbers, as well as frequencies, that was part of the reason I was bringing it up. So Big Bap, Copper Color Grizzly, I don't know what your plans are with, state, you know, second round, as you said. I would hopefully bring some light enlightenment to not just the Bermuda Triangle, the potential of a crystal pyramid that is known and is being researched. And how does that play into electromagnetism, ascension? Because the, the earth is actually changing literally under our feet. And I yield. I can answer that, but go ahead, Bat. Uh, I'll let you go ahead and answer it, brother, uh, like man Z, because I'm gonna have to do some more research on the uh, 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 crystal pyramid or what may be, even be a diamond pyramid. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm definitely gonna do some research about that, and I appreciate you for bringing it to my knowledge. Brother. They refer to it as the macabre. So, and we down in the good shit. That you all, somebody always get in the argument, they end up, man, I love you, man. Niggas start hugging and shit. Fuck you, old puss ass nigga. I told you go clean up for your grandma. See yeah. that nigga like, oh, you know, I love you, nephew. I would nigga be so outside in the backyard. Oh, that, man, that, that's that's Uncle Ruf, that's Uncle Rufus and cousin um Cleotis. They out there fighting in the yard, man. Them niggas come back. <laughs> niggas come back bleeding and shit, right? Look, nigga come back bleeding and shit, right? And then niggas be like, man, let's have a drink. Niggas, you hear niggas hugging. Oh, man, I'm sorry, cuz. I love you, cuz. Yeah, that's the type of shit like Root Word be on. But we all used to it. We all family. You know how we do, man. Ain't nothing personal. I just think people like more bills like this when we all can get along. And I'm guilty. I'm the one who's the only one that was arguing today. It's just, I, I like being a part of this. Salute to everybody. And thanks, I have power. Yeah, man, appreciate it, uh, Ruth, man. Shout out to everybody, man.